If I apply an effect in waveform view, it affects the whole clip. If, however, I go to multi-track view, I can do more creative things with effects inside Audition. You'll see that when I do go to multi-track view, my effects rack changes and it now shows me the option to use clip effects for track effect. And track effects affect everything on a single track. So however many audio clips I have on this track, they will all be processed through whichever effects I load up in here. Clip effects, on the other hand, are only applied to individual clips. So I'm going to show you a practical example of how this works. Here in track effects, I'm going to add, for argument's sake, an echo, so it's really obvious what's happening, OK? So here's my echo. And Ethiopians who farm it have historically gotten limited. So that's affecting everything on that track. Now, at the moment, there's only one clip on that track. So I'm just going to close that and remove it. Benefits from murder. I have to make sure my track is selected so I can see the correct set of effects slots here. I'm going to remove that effect. Now, if I zoom in, let's say, for example, I only want to apply some effect to a certain part of this clip, right? So I'm going to need to zoom in and just make some edits. So I'm going to use my scissors tool here, my razor tool, to select this part, OK? So here's a clip that I've selected. What does it sound like? So the six million Ethiopians who farm it have historically gotten limited. OK, so at the moment, that sounds exactly the same, because all I've done is cut that clip out, but I haven't changed anything. Now, if I was to select this clip, and go into the clip effects section, any effect that I apply here is only going to apply to this clip, not the whole track. So the parts of the audio either side of it will be unaffected. So for example, I'm going to apply the echo just so it's really obvious. Here's my echo. And you can see that this clip that I've created gets a little FX icon on it, which shows that the clip has effects applied. If I now play across that clip, the parts before and after won't be affected, but this part will. ...from the international research community. So the six million Ethiopians who farm it have historically gotten limited benefit. OK, so that's quite an extreme example. You wouldn't normally necessarily put that kind of effect on something. But what you might do is, if you were trying to match up some speech or some sounds to the action in a video, what you might do is, for example, have not uh, echo, but you might have compression and reverb, for example. So if I was to add some compression, and I was to say a voiceover compressor plus some reverb, research community. So the six million Ethiopians who farm it have historically gotten limited. So I could make it sound like that guy was in a different location for that part of his speech, right? I could turn up the wet control, turn down the dry. The international research community. So the six million Ethiopians who farm it have historically gotten limited benefits from. So that's quite an extreme example. That's not the kind of thing precisely that you would do, but it shows you how it works. So I'm able to affect different clips within a track without affecting the whole track. And of course, if I then wanted to apply a track effect to the whole track, I could do that too. Make sure the track is selected and then go into track effects and I could select something else. I could say maybe I wanted to stereo expand everything on that track attention from the international research community. So the six million Ethiopians who farm it have historically gotten limited benefits from modern improvements in farming techniques and technologies. In particular... So this effect, because it's a track effect, is now affecting everything, including the clip that I selected, sort of cut up earlier and applied separate effects to. So this clip has now got its clip effect and the track effect, 
these two sections here only have the track effect. And if you multiply that over various different tracks, that's actually quite a clever way of working with things like dynamics, reverb, and EQ for different parts of different tracks within a project. So you don't have to sort of export little loops from Premiere. You can basically import all your stems and then you can create little regions like this and you can apply things like volume, you can apply fades, you can use these fade handles here. And you can apply effects either to entire tracks or to clips or both. Let us look next at doing some audio repair. 